Hello, it's Mary here again. Uh, we're in the Easter season. Hope you all had a good Easter and you've enjoyed the holidays. And for children, it's back to school on Monday, isn't it? And uh, in the Easter season, when we're in church, we say, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Um, so today we're going to have a couple of songs. Then Alice is going to do the reading. I'll do the story. And then Kate and Eleanor are doing the prayers for us. And then Charlotte's got another craft activity. So first, two songs. First one is Jesus Loves Me, This I Know. It's quite an old song. I've sung it before. See if you can join it. about Jesus' love for each one of us and it's wonderful to think of his love for us and for all those around us. And the second is Kumbaya. So Kumbaya first, then someone's singing, someone's praying and then Kumbaya again. Come by our is a way of saying, come here, Lord. And of course, he's with us, isn't he? Um, helping us along the way. Jesus stood among his disciples and said to them, peace be with you. They were startled and frightened, thinking they saw a ghost. He said to them, why are you troubled? And why do doubts rise in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet. It is... It is I myself. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you see I have. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and feet. And while they still did not believe it because of the joy and amazement, he asked them, do you have anything to eat? They gave him a piece of broad fish and he took it and ate it in their presence. He said to them, this is what I told you while I was still <laughs> with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about 
me in the law of Moses and the prophets and Psalms. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them, this is what, this is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. The repentance, the repentance of the forgiveness of sins will preach, will be preached in His name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem you are witness of these things for God's holy word thanks be to God well, I'm in my garden in Kingsworthy um, you can see the beautiful blue sky and the shrubs behind me and birds are singing and it's a lovely day and we're in the Easter season I hope you had a good Easter weekend um, but now in the Easter season we think of all the times that Jesus appeared to his disciples and to others to show that he's risen and in churches we say Jesus is risen he is risen indeed hallelujah and um, when Jesus appeared to them and they thought he was a ghost he showed them his hands the holes in his hands and the sign for Jesus is that indicating the holes in his hands and he showed them the scars on his feet where the nails had gone in um, and then just to prove that it was him he ate a piece of fish and the disciples couldn't deny that it was Jesus with them and they were so happy that it was Jesus and we're so happy because Jesus dying and rising again means that we can be friends with God and that Jesus can be with us wherever we go, loving us and helping us and loving everyone in the world. And in churches we have, um, sometimes we have the cross like that, an empty cross, which shows that Jesus is risen. And there's another one. And then um, sometimes we have Jesus on the cross, which shows us that, um, reminds us that Jesus died on the cross for us. So when you next go in the church, and we'll be able to go in the church very soon, um, do have a look and see what, what's on the cross or whether it's just um, a plain cross. Um, so let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you're risen again and that you came as God's son to be with us and to forgive us and to show us God's love. And we pray, Lord, you'll help us to show your love to others. In Jesus' name. Amen. Dear God, thank you for the beautiful spring weather and the lovely spring flowers. Please protect those who are reopening businesses after lockdown and give them strength during this time. Thank you to all the NHS workers in the vaccine clinics which have made the easing of lockdown possible. We pray for those who have died recently and for the comfort of their family and friends. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Jesus is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Hello everyone. So today I have another bubble recipe as it's coming up to summer and you might be outside a lot more. Um, so all you need is some fairy up. Do we have any? Um, yeah, we have two sort of differences. Yeah. Um, so okay. you need fairy up liquid or washing liquid, washing up liquid, some glycerin or cooking oil, and some water. So you will need a cup of washing up liquid, half a cup of water, and half a teaspoon of glycerin or cooking oil. Then you will put all of your 
all of your ingredients in a bowl like this and mix it all together so it's all nice and stirred in. Then take a spoon out, grab your bubble blowers or whatever you would like to use and put them in. Then you should, oh, hot, you should get some nice bub bubbles. Don't seem to be working now. <laughs> There you go. And they're much stronger than they're the normal bubbles, than normal aren't they? Bubbles. Try and again. You should be able to kick them with your if you have socks on. Wow, they're great bubbles, aren't they? There you go. We're gonna have fun with those. Yeah, so that's you will. As um as you know, there is many different like shapes you can do. So obviously I've done classic circle, but you have like ones with little bubbles in, like this one. There you go. Lots of little bubbles. little bubbles. Excellent. Um, so there are many different shapes you can do. Right. Um, so I hope you enjoy making them. Yeah, that'd be good. Just do some photos. Yeah, if do you send get some, some photos if you manage to get any of your bubbles. Um, the spot difference were the letters, an M and an A. Um, these are actually going to stick up on a family member's door. Yes. Um, Thank you. But I hope okay. you enjoy making them yeah. and I will see you next week. Yeah, see you Bye. next week. Bye-bye.